Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we'll finally attach all the methods to the main activity right here. So if you go to the activity main.xml what we essentially want to do is that when we click this add button you actually want to perform the add task method. So what we will do is that we will add the on click to this button. So for this add button we specify the on click as let's say uh, add button clicked and for the remove button what we do is that we will add an on click which says let's say uh, remove button clicked and once we have these two methods defined the next thing which we do is that we go ahead and create those methods inside uh, this class right here so what we will do is that we'll create a method which is public void and this is going to be add uh, let's say button button clicked and the next thing which we do is that we basically pass in the view to this so this is going to be view view and similar to the add button click method we are also going to have a method which is the remove button click so public void remove button clicked and this is also going to accept the view and once we have these two methods we are basically good to go so once we have these two methods the next thing which you need to do is that you need to get a reference to all these elements in the main activities so you do need to get a reference to the edit text text view and also you need to get a reference to the database helper so in the main activity what we do here is that we essentially go over here and get a reference to each of those so this is going to be edit text let's name this edit text as edit text then let's go ahead and get a reference to the text view as well so that's going to be text view let's name this thing as text view you also need a reference to the my database helper class so we'll type in my database helper and let's name this thing as database helper so once this thing is done we are pretty much good to go so now the next thing which you need to do is that in on create you need to go ahead and get a reference to the actual edit text and the actual text view so we will type in edit text equals and typecast it to edit text then find view by id r dot id dot and the edit text id is edit text task then we get a reference to the text view as well so we will type in text view typecast it to text view then as usual we are going to have the find view by id r dot id dot the text views id and i guess the text views id has not been defined so let me just go ahead go here and let's say the text view id is text view task so we define that by typing in uh, let's say text view task so then you could go to the main activity and type in the text view task over here so once this is done we basically have reference to the edit text and the text view as well and finally you need to have a reference to the database helper as well so we type database helper equals new my database helper and this is actually going to accept a few parameters so if you have a look at my database helper uh, this is the constructor so it accepts the context the name the database and finally the version so what we are going to pass in is the context as this and rest of the parameters we are going to pass in as uh, null null and finally a single one so once this thing is done we are basically good to go and make sure to have a comma here okay so once this thing is done let's go ahead and fill up these two methods over here so on clicking the add button what we essentially want to do here is that we want to execute the method which is basically the add task method so for that what we do is that first we create the object of the task itself so first we get a reference to the task so we type in tasks tasks equals new tasks and now in order to get the actual task we type in edit text dot get text and we convert it to a string so what we have done here basically is that we have created a new task and 
we basically got a reference to that particular task or we basically got the task name from this particular edit text. So what we have done here is that we typed an edit text, then we got the text which is entered into that particular edit text and we converted it into a string. Now once we have the task name, we could go ahead and add that to the database by using the database helper class. So we'll type in database helper dot add task. That is basically a method in the database helper. And here we are going to specify the task which we have extracted right over here. So once this thing is done, we are basically good to go. And now in the remove button clicked, we are going to do the same thing. So for removing something from the database, what you need to do is that first you need to get the text from the edit text. So whatever text you are going to enter into the edit text and hit the delete button, that particular task is going to get deleted. So let's take the input in a form of a string. So this is going to be string input equals edit text dot get text dot to string. So we get the reference and get the text and convert it into a string. And now what we do is that to the database helpers remove task method, we pass in that particular input so that the database helper can actually go ahead and remove that particular task for us. So once we have done with these two methods, the final method which we wish to do is the print database method. So the print database method is actually a method which is going to go ahead and execute the database to string method which we have declared right over here. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to type in public void print db. And in here, the first thing which we do is that we create a string. So we'll type in string. Let's name the string as uh, let's say db string equals database helper dot database to string. So finally we got the method and then finally we set the text view to the string. So text view dot set text and pass in the database string over here. So once we are done with this, we are basically good to go. So the final thing which you need to do is that you need to add the print DB method to each and every of these methods, because what you want to do is that at in every situation, like when a new thing is added or the new task is added, you have to print the database results. So I'm going to have a print DB method here, here, as well as here. So basically when you start up your application for the very first time, the database is going to be printed. When you add a particular item to the database, the database is going to be printed. And when you remove a particular item from the database, still the database is going to be printed. So with this, we are almost done with the entire code. And the final piece of thing which we are missing from this is the code which needs to be added to the on upgrade method. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to write in a simple query. So I'll pause this video, write in the query and explain you guys how this query actually works. Okay, so as you could see, I have added an additional query to this on upgrade method, which basically states drop table if exists and table tasks. So what this actually does is that if our database is already going to have the table tasks method, it's actually going to go ahead and remove that for us. And it's going to help us to upgrade to a newer database version. So with that, we are almost done with the application. So in the next lecture, what we will do is that we will run this application and hopefully this application should run correctly because as this is the database application and as it has a little bit of queries, which might not run properly, even if there is a difference of a single space. So in the next lecture, we will actually run this application and see how it performs. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.